Hi everybody. I thought I'd do a walkthrough of or a talk through of um, an uneven lie tournament. So this is this week's free um, free one. We'll see how we can get on. Decided to do this one in full screen. My meter's not very good, so and uh, if I want to be missing the ding, I want to be missing definitely on the right side while I'm doing this. It looks like not a lot happening. <coughs> um, the ball's going to go left to right, and I think the wind's going to counteract that. In fact, the wind will probably... Probably have more of an effect than uh, than this. The dots really aren't going very quickly at all. So let's see. Uh, looks like the dots are going away from me as well. So this would should have a more of a skiddy effect uh, than than typically used to. But. Uh, So I didn't allow anywhere near enough for the wind, basically. It's <coughs> anything really budget. Okay. Obviously a little bit easier when it's, um, I think this is low wind, uh, but it's a bumpy, bumpy course, so, well, let's go the clear way, please. It's a bumpy course, so um, you can end up with some funny looking, uh, funny looking situations. Okay, well, that's definitely moving quite a bit quicker. I usually did tend to look down here. Um, we can see you can see the dots moving at a bit more, uh, a bit more of a decent speed. Um, yeah, the dots are also coming towards me, so I'll lose a little bit of, uh, of yardage. But I've worked out. I've got about five. Five yards of help here from the wind. So, it's eight. I want to land it at about <coughs> one or two ish. And then let the slope, let the slope do, uh, whoopsie, wrong side. Let the slope beat the ball down to the hole. <coughs> That's assuming I've got that part of it, right? Which I don't think I have. Well, have I? Uh, just, just, just. I'm going. Wow. I thought I was going to get stuck up there just for a second there. Just fairly straight, but. The only time where I would say that I, I really get um, hassles with, with, with misdinging is when I need to put, when I need, when I've got a straight putt. Because um, I typically, I've got a very low, I mean, that's an easy birdie thrown away there. I've got a very low ding rate. I've got, I'm, not, I'm not very good at getting near the ding the best of times, but. <laughs> says as he dings one, but. To me, crucially, if I, you know, if I need to, if I've got a straight putt, I need to know to ding it. I need to know that I can, I can definitely ding it. Um, like there, that, that basically was a definite must ding. Okay. 
try so it's coming this way. And away from me. So typically we work with an iron wheel. No doubt get one. Uh, there would be a skid effect more, more like as if, you, if you're pitching or chipping from the fringe. And then from the fairway, that sort of difference. Uh, the ball, the ball tends to skid, uh, skid more than stop. Obviously, it's not going to be a major issue with the with the wedge. Uh, it's nearly four yards out. So. Uh, yeah. basically broke <coughs> the one rule there is, is if possible you don't want to hit with the uneven line and in the direction of the wind um, I got away with it there uh, because it was basically just a wedge and uh, well, I only had 60 yards so there's less room for error than if that was from 180 or 200 yards so uh, uh, this can be This can be quite tricky depending where you end up. You know, when I can't get onto that little bit there, I'll be quite happy. Right again, but this is you can see more easier from over there. That's definitely moving away from us, so that's good effect. Uh, definitely come into play here. But fortunately, I'm hitting a 7 9 in. I'm going to just try to click this a little bit early if I can. Well, good job I didn't. I misread that uh, that uneven light quite substantially there. That's okay. It's uh, one of the easier places to be. But probably actually not. A little bit more left would have been better, but uh, still. What I, what I really do wish WGT would do is sell things in the pro shop. I really don't know why they don't just do that. I suppose then, I mean, I, I, they would be making the scores lower. Um, but with a putter, I'd give anything to be able to ding when I, when I really want one. I'm not too worried about this this sort of approach shots. Um, but when, I, when I want to ding a putt, and I can't, I guess, I guess I'm quite irritated. <coughs> Definitely had the right line on that putt, the right line. Um, clicking early with the break, I just destroyed any chance I had. Well, this could be funky. Uh, okay, I'm not going to get to the green, obviously. So, probably what I'll do is I'm just going to move everything just where it is. And hope to hit that down slope and just catapult up onto the green. Just like that. Go. Now I need it to roll. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll never just get over there. That's okay. What else we can do? Somewhere around there is a start point. Not very much. 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 Not very much.
Stand by enough that I think. It might not be too bad. Hey, nice one. Uh, this will be a wedge in two, so typically find um, the, I haven't played many uneven lies, I've played a few, but um, wedge shots tend to be tend to be quite a bit easier than uh, nine shots, I suppose just because there's more room, less room for error because you're not going, you're not going, um, not going that far. Oh, that's cool. All black. So basically, it's just uh, a normal, normal lie. So let's call it. Um, I've got this little router over here, uh, which I can use for that I can use for um, for when the full screen. I can use for lining up. Lining up various shots. Let's actually just get it away. I don't really use it very often anymore these days, but I used to use it quite often. And uh, just in case anybody is worried, I have discussed having this ruler with Icon, and uh, he's quite happy for me to have it and use it. Doesn't help me ding or anything like that in any way. Just uh, in big heavy runs, I find I find the ruler um, quite a bit easier to use than, than trying to guess guess the wind. Um, and my handheld ruler that uh, you'll have seen in uh, my setup video. All the lines have rubbed off it, so it's basically become useless to me. I can't use it. Um, and I'll, play, I'll play this without using it, the ruler. Not going to be too much of a problem in these rooms. Okay, so the, the, the dots, so uh, the dots are coming towards me again. I'm going to lose lose a bit of yardage from whatever the club would normally hit, and I've got to hit one. Um, I'm just having a look out here. What about the lie there? Give that a whirl. I'm not really sure if it's. Ah, I don't want to click that side. Ah, good job I did. <laughs> good job I did. much about the lie here. Mm. I don't need to worry about it at all, like so. See, obviously. Right side to miss it. I'll turn a bit. Well, it was alright. <laughs> Yeah, it's 
to double show. I'm just going to take this pixel light. quite chuffed with this front line so far. I just unfortunately missed the uh, straight front on the second. And we can actually really handy here. <coughs> Typically would be very confident of getting the oh nice, thank you very, very much. Getting this very close. Um, click early. Oh, go in. Oh. Awesome, minus eight count nine. What could have been? Mine, I'm not, I don't very often eagle eagle, uh, eagle five, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, lost out there with the uh, with the meter. Oh, wow, just tailwinds everywhere I look. Uh, it's a full top spin. Hopefully, hit hit a hand a handy bounce here. Uh, this could turn out really good. I like the camera angle immediately. Oh, nice. Come on. Go. Go. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. That's not. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic result. I really don't want to cock this up. Yeah, it doesn't typically turn as much as you think I don't think. Actually wait, I'll just uh, I'm gonna go up to the next scale up. I really we would like to thing this. That should be okay. No, you need to thing it. Three more feet long ago. A wasted opportunity that is. Gee. Man. Ten under after ten I'd have been uh, <laughs> I'd have been I mean, seriously chuffed. Um but typically here is where that really would come in very handy. Um this should be a perfect six iron full backswing yeah, lands at one seventy eight. Oh, and I've gone and done that too. This should be all over it. Should be all over it. Where is it? Come. Oh, man. A little bit of help there. No, oh, they've been a very nice ace. See, my status is that I'm bored silly with the game. I mean, I haven't been playing very often. Um, I'm quite surprised by how well I'm doing. I did very well this morning in the, the normal lies ready go um, of this 53. Uh, but the two parts would be uh, something similar. Yeah. <coughs> Let's see what sort of line we get. I would say the side wind is going to counteract this going right off the club face. Anything to note here is how quickly this, uh, the dot's moving this, for this upslope. So I'm going to need to, I'm going to need to just, this going to cost me probably about three yards. So this might go long, but it might not. It's going way long, is it? No, oh, that's perfect. Sweet. Alright. 
벌써 그렇게 배웠네 Could have been. It's probably also a good idea to just. Uh, this is basically just the ruler program, and obviously that's a screen capture tool, AVG, the usual little bits and pieces. Um, and I also have Windows snipping tool, calculator, stopwatch. Stopwatch is handy to use for. Um, these uneven lies too. Uh, so I just wanted to show the uh, taskbar as it were. Um, Alright, so we've got the wind going left to right and the, and the, the lie is taking it left to right. Hmm. Interesting. It should be. Get the wind, if I can get the aim right here, yeah, the line. I'll slow it down quite dramatically there now. Um, a tiny, a tiny little bit of backspin. I might be short, but that's okay. Oh, nice thing. I don't mind being a little bit short. I haven't aimed enough for it. Now basically, the, 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 the upslope there, um, I calculated that, uh, I picked that at about 105 yards, but obviously, um, I just didn't get anywhere near. Uh, so I might have too bad. But it makes me short. That's turn, 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 turn. No. Should have gone with a pitching wedge, shouldn't I? That typically that typically lands at um, at 100 and, 108. Uh, and 111 up a bit. Let's uh, full top spin as well. At 112, five and a half. Obviously, they just I just didn't uh, allow enough for the uphill line there, unfortunately. I don't go there off. Slow down. Well, 58 or something, you know, I suppose it's going to have to do, but, um, hmm. Oh, this land's 250. This land's 250, no wind, full back spin. And you'll see that I'm on a down slope, so this is going to skid away from me, so. Three wood, not gonna work. So I'm gonna go the three iron here, neutral. Get a bit early, just to uh, go against the break, so to speak. Might roll on up. Roll all the way back. Uh, this is. Uh, one occasion where I will use the flop. <laughs> now it's quite interesting because the, the amount that's going to come off the club phrase right is probably doubled now by the lie. Um, and the, it's an upslope, so I'm going to lose the yardage too, but I've got a tailwind. So this should be, I just this is all about the aim. All about the aim. I haven't got far to go, so... I could end up way right here. Um, I'm going to kick it early as well. Try to. Uh, oh, that is surprisingly short. Didn't think uh, I'm going to be that far short. Wow. I really didn't think it would be that far short. Get this a bit late. Uh, because of my difficulty with the ding, I sort of always used to just uh, miss ding putts, no matter where they were. 
Um, I've started to adopt the, the aim and aim and miss method. Oh, come on, where's the wind? Get onto the fairway. Okay, and Paul's listening to me. <laughs> uh, so in putts like that that, 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 that aren't straight, I can just move the bit and then, you know, go right, ball. Um, I can I can afford to miss doing it too. Okay, this is this is going to move substantially left to right. So I'll probably be looking at it somewhere around up there. I've got a wind helping 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 this way, but uh, it just looks pretty severe. Well, there's a bit of yardage too, so I'm just going to put a little bit of accident on it. Hit the downslope just uh, hopefully just around about here. I'll just trickle on down to the hole. Let me look. No, it's gone way right. Oh, landed in the right spot. If I'd just landed it straighter, where I'd, uh, where I'd wanted it to, I just didn't. I didn't allow anywhere near enough for that side line. So there's a lesson learned. Um, got you. I'm fairly lucky with a pretty decent putt here too. Take a bit late. Um, choices. Choices, choices. Sometimes full top spin up here can work out pretty handy. So I'll give it a go. Um, would, I would normally just go with my typical, just the tip of the B on the Cali for this for this win, but yeah, sometimes you can hit hit the right spot and catapult forward. Other times you don't. So that's okay. But hopefully, be in with the wedge here. Should definitely, well, there's definitely going to be a wedge. Just, uh, just, just get the spin right now. But again, that looks about as extreme as it did the last time, so I'll make sure to uh, note that. Um, just to decide now how much this is going to cost me, probably. So let's see, we we'll put this somewhere around about. There, I think. It might, it might, might be too much. It feels weird. It feels very weird what I'm doing now. It really does. Um, I'll, leave the, I'll leave the pin. Yeah, I'll leave the pin in. Let's see. Oh, not enough. Now yeah, that, that, wow, that's worked out super. Excellent. Oh, so really, that felt so counterintuitive, putting the aimer away over there. Um, oh, I think the putt, I'm not sure. 58, nice. Cool. So I missed a fairly easy eagle putt on 10. Fairly easy. Um, and actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this full topspin as well. If I can catch that mound, ah, oh, gee, that's going to be that's this is this is a lost ball. Oh, idiot! Oh man! <laughs> uh, I can do the same thing again. No, I've got to click to two early now. I didn't mind kicking that last one late, but just didn't want to kick it that late, and this will catapult forward. Ah, need to just get this close, get this close in one putt. If I can. What a pity. Uh, okay, I'm going to look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it where it is. I should leave that in as well. Just the power here. Um, 
Itu orang dah sukar lah. Right. So the wind, the wind really overtook, uh, overtook the lie there. Oh, I just don't want to double bag with this. My, I deserve to. This is a clown shot that I played. Let's see if we can try and salvage something. I don't think it's far away. Well, ah, oh, man, that's irritating. But typically, a drive there. Um, the full top's been. This is sort of the second time I did it. Um, you can get even over a slight headwind, even with a full headwind. Of, of, 10 or 12 yards, you can, uh, you can sometimes end up at 300 odd yards, 310, this is definite full topspin, and hit the bump. Be nice if I could hold this just to finish off. Such a pity. <laughs> oh man, I didn't want to kick it late. She was. Messing it up. Messing it up completely now. What a pity, fifty nine. It's just a par on 17 would mean 57. Why is it say 58? Have we got a 58? No. Okay, right. I don't know what are we looking at? Oh, not too bad. Uh, I don't know where I'll be here. Probably halfway down 15 percent. Uh, if I had a part 17, I'd be in the lead. What an absolute pity. Anyway, well, there's uh, 18 holes of uh, an uneven life. Ciao, hope you enjoyed it.